Hey there folks, welcome back for day 17 of the 30 Days of Banjo. What I just played is completely different from all the other things that we've been playing, but it's actually just an up the neck version of Boil That Cabbage Down, meaning I'm playing the same melody, just up here instead of down here. And what's cool about this is you might've already noticed that what I'm mostly playing is just these pinch patterns. In fact, it's really just that one pattern, second string and then a pinch. All we need to do now is just look at what we're doing with our left hand. So then let's do that. Here's how the left hand is gonna work. Take your middle, and your ring finger and put them both on the 12th fret of the second and first string. Great, that's where your first position is gonna be and you're just gonna do one measure of the pinch pattern. Then our next shape, we're gonna move up to the 13th and the 14th fret with our first finger and our ring finger. Again, it's kind of like our C pattern where we have our index finger and a ring finger. It's actually exactly the same thing. It's just up an octave. So then we're gonna move back down to our original position, 12th fret. Then we're gonna go down to the 10th fret, same thing. Then back up to the 12th fret. Our C position. Then 12th fret, 10th fret. And then here, we're gonna go 8th fret with the index finger, 9th fret with the ring finger. So all together, sounds like this. Okay, so just like when we were learning pinch patterns down the neck, this is kind of just getting used to the positions that we're gonna be playing in. We're gonna do other things with the right hand in the future. So get comfortable with the left hand positions now and being able to shift in time. And then tomorrow when we look at something else, it's actually gonna be a lot easier to incorporate these new ideas. But I would also suggest playing Boil That Cabbage Down and Cripple Creek in the down the neck position as well, just for the sake of practice. By the way, your featured banjo player for this lesson is Scott Vestal. Scott is a really interesting banjo player. I kind of think of him as a combination between Terry Bauckham, who we've already listened to, and Bela Fleck, who we've also listened to. He's got a really rock solid driving right hand, but he plays a lot of really interesting material over here in the left hand. So it's definitely worth listening to. So I hope you enjoy the playlists I put down in the description below. Also, if you don't mind, feel free to subscribe to this channel and like this video. That's a huge thing that you can do to help me make more of these videos. So if you do that, I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's all for today. I will see you tomorrow for day 18 of the 30 Days of Banjo. Bye.